Hey guys, welcome to PB Garage. Today we're going to have a look at how to diagnose and fix some windshield wipers that don't work on my Mark 5 right here. Also applies to Mark 6 and Audi A3 and a few others. So let's have a look. Okay, so the issue I was having here with my Mark 5, I was driving along one day in the rain, hit the wipers and I got this. Now, as you can see, they've come up just a little bit and then stopped. And what we wanna do now is kind of figure out why that's doing that. Now, luckily in my case, the fact that they come up even part way tells me that there's no issue uh, in getting power to the wiper motor. The wiper motor is turning over at least part way. And that lets me know that it's not a blown fuse. It's not a problem with the wiper stock. So if you guys are having an issue with your wipers and you're not even getting this, if the wipers aren't moving at all, what I'd do first is I would uh, hit the wiper stock and see if you can hear that motor spinning. If you can't hear the wiper motor turning or making any noise at all, then you probably want to get into the fuse box here. So just on the side, as you can see, this has been off a few times and check your fuses and you might be able to find a fuse that's burnt out. Now, I'm sure I don't have to tell you guys this because we all already know, but the fuse is number fuse F19 in the engine bay fuse box, not even the one I just showed you. And that's the one that you want to check to see if it's popped. Now, assuming that that fuse is good, what we can do is head under hood. We're going to have to do a little bit of disassembly now and have a look at the wiper linkage and the wiper motor itself. So what we're going to do here is we're going to pop the hood. And then the next thing we're going to do is remove our wiper arms. So we're going to pull these plastic caps off, this guy here and that guy there. Pull the nuts off that hold the wiper arms down and then remove the wiper arms themselves. Now this guy's a 13 millimeter. Okay, now I can remove my plastic cowl on there. So I'm gonna take my rubber weather strip off and then I can just pull this cowl, cowl out. It fits in to the windscreen at the bottom there. And you gotta make sure you don't bust your corners. So you can pull that guy up. There we go, pop that out of the windshield and You can tell why this is broken. Somebody was peeling that out like that before. Should probably find myself a new one. And now we have access to the motor and we have access to that whole wiper linkage down in here, okay? Now, if you've got a keen eye, you can already see what the issue is with mine, but if we didn't know what the issue was, the next thing to do would be to uh, hit that wiper stock again and see if that motor's moving. If it's not moving, you would pull this plug off and start checking the power at all the different uh, terminals on the plug here, making sure you got power. Now I'm guessing, I don't know for sure, but I'm gonna guess that you should have switched power on that uh, red and white wire there to the brown ground wire. So if you check across those two terminals, you should have power when the key is on basically. And then this should be a trigger for the, uh, or a signal wire for that wiper motor. This one, you may not be able to check it. now. If you guys know any different, please post up in the comments because I'm not 100% sure that that's how that power system is gonna be. And like I said, in my case, well, there's our culprit right down here. You can see part of that linkage is disconnected and it's just sitting in the bottom. Now I kinda had an idea what the issue was gonna be, so I went ahead and ordered myself a new wiper linkage. And what I'll show you guys right now is how to swap that out. Now I think to get this out, all I have to do is remove, there's a T30 bolt here. T30 bolt here, two 10 millimeter bolts here holding that bracket, uh, unplug my motor, and then I should be able to pull it all out, but we'll see how that goes.
Okay, with that bracket out, now I've made myself a little bit of room by moving the linkage so that it's kind of like sitting a little bit flatter. So I know it's tough to see, but in the back here, this linkage moves, right? So I've just sent it to one side to make it a little bit more compact. And then if we look up in here, you can see there's a little locating pin into the chassis there. So I'm just gonna pull the motor out so that that pin comes out of its little holder and that should give me a little bit more room to move. Okay. Okay, now I've tucked that guy kind of under that little lip there, which has allowed me to bring this guy up, right? And then, sorry guys, I'm doing this one-handed. But that allows me to pull the whole linkage out. There we go. And there we go, out. Now we can have a look. You can see where this guy's supposed to live on that bracket there, and it's just popped off. That's what's causing me all these little troubles. Now, to swap my linkage, what I'm gonna do is, um, let's see, normally this guy's attached like that. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run the motor over like this, so that that's right up against that stop. And then I'm gonna remove the nut that's holding that little lever arm. And then I should be able to remove those three bolts, take that plate off, take the whole linkage off, put the new linkage on with the new plate, do those three bolts up, make sure that this arm is up against the stop and make sure that that motor hasn't moved so that I know that my wipers will be located properly. And then do that bolt up again and we should be good to go. Now, same thing if you were replacing that motor instead of the linkage. So in my case, obviously it was the linkage that started to come apart. But if you were uh, replacing a seized wiper motor, you'd be doing the same process, just using, reusing your used linkage, but all of this would be just the same. And here's my new linkage, just for comparison. I bought on Rock Auto, great place to get parts. New linkage, here's my new uh, plate with a little locating pin. So like I say, we're just gonna do a quick swap on these and reinstall everything. Now the last thing I'm going to do here is line up my uh, linkage arm here. So I'm going to make sure it's right up against the stop here and then drop it onto the shaft. Okay. And then throw my nut back on. Now the only thing here is I probably could have put a paint mark on this just to make sure that, that shaft didn't move when I was messing around with it because it did take a little bit of effort to get the old arm off of it, but I think I'll be good. So I'm going to tighten that guy up and I'm just going to use two hands for that. And that guy's nice and snug. We should be all set. Now just to reinstall it, I am going to throw my linkage over the other way. So just the way it came out. So I'm up against the other stop there now. Then hopefully, I can just sneak that guy in there, and then 
make sure that my locating pin is down in and there we go. Pretty easy. Bring that guy back up here. This guy's going to be on that bracket. So the next step, I'm going to put that bracket back in, put my two bolts in that hold the, everything together, plug my motor in and we should be in business. And there we go. We've got my two T30 bolts back in, my bracket back in. Now something that did trip me up a little bit on the install, I was having a hard time because I put the bracket in first and then I was trying to get this guy located and get that little pin back into the chassis at the top there. And I was having a hard time getting that pin located in there and keeping this guy above deck. So what I ended up doing was just removing this little bracket again. So this end of the assembly had a bit more room to wiggle up and down. And then I was able to keep that guy above, locate that pin, get that guy in. And then once everything was in place, I kind of settled back to a normal spot, put my bracket back on and did it that way. Um, so all that's left, I'm gonna plug in my electrical connection here. Now to give it a test, we're just gonna close the hood. And we should be able to just watch that guy. Everything seems to be working fine. Now, don't ask me how I know, but you have to close the hood, otherwise nothing works at all. So make sure you shut your hood, because uh, if, if the car senses that the hood's open, it won't activate the front wipers. So, fun fact for you guys. <laughs> so there you have it. That's all for that, guys. Um, new wiper linkage in. All I have to do now is put my cowl back on, put my wiper arms back on, and we're in business. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Have a good one.